How's up, guys? It's down with uh, Scott. How you doing, mate? How you doing? Uh, pretty good. Uh, well, today, as you already know, we are going to be ranking the reinforcements of Star Wars Battlefront 2. After a recent addition, what did I say? Re yeah, recent addition of the First Order Jet Trooper, Sith Trooper, KFX Spy, and the Vision Gunner, decided it's time to, uh, Update it a little bit. So, what we're gonna do? Rank them. Uh, we're gonna skim from 13 to 5 because uh, we don't have a lot of time. Uh, private reasons, and then from 5 to 1, we will do a more deeper explanation. Before we start, thank you for 10 subscribers. Please like and subscribe for future Star Wars Battlefront and Star Wars. Just Star Wars stuff in general, to be honest with you. But starting off 13, we have, well, I have, the Flame Trooper. I have the Wookiee Warrior. Fair enough. Number 12, I have the Wookiee Warrior. I have the, the aerial, the, the super battle joint aerial. Yeah, alright, alright. Number 11. I have the aerial class as a whole, minusing the first order jet trooper. I have uh, command and droid. Number ten, I have the death trooper. I have the vector gunner. Number nine, B two super battle droid. Number 8, I have the KFX Spy. I have the Super Battle Droid. Number 7, I have the Droid Cup. I have the Droid Cup. Number 6, First Order Jet Trooper. I have the Dead Trooper. Alright, now from number 5 to number 1, guys, we'll have a bit of a more deeper explanation so we feel like they're the more important and more. Like, the more, I don't know, they might need more reasoning to why we have them there. Mm. So, number five, who do you have? I have the clone commando. I have the commando droid. Beautiful skin. Uh, I chose these here because Vibro Blade, I think it's really good. They're good, I'd say they need a little buffed the damage output abilities except for the Vibro Blade they're alright, they can help you I think the only reason that the higher is of these beautiful skins boy, look at these skins and I don't know, I just feel some sort of attachment to them like I'm just drawn to them but hey ho, why'd you have the uh, clone commandos number 5? because it's skins Great name. I just they're just they're no really as good as I think they would be. But they are good, but that's why they're number five. But they you know they're just they're no real obvious. I don't know. Fair enough. Number four, I have Delta Squad themselves, the Arc Trooper. The flame trooper. The flame. The flame trooper. The flame. That's a shocker. Why? I'm quite good at close range. Uh, I like to be in the fight, not out the fight. So you know, I get the chance with the flame trooper one. Can they just bump people? You know that's that's key. Get a couple of barbecues to them. What? <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, fair enough. Uh, number four, I have the Clone Commando. Good abilities, the Repulsor Blast. I think you should have a longer range. But, I mean, uh, the Clone Commando looks like it's swearing at you, to be honest, with the, uh, the pose it's doing. So, yeah. The DC-15... M repeater blaster 
up rifle, sorry, is really good. Uh, anti armor attachment, destroy vehicles in the like two grenades. Battle focus, you could beat any hero but Dooku. But yeah, I have a number four because of that. Mm. Number three. Who do you have? I have the, the Art Trooper. Exactly the same. Why thou Art Trooper? Mm. Because the reminds me of kind of Captain Nets a wee bit. Uh, because of the new skin? As I'm um, a fan of the Clone Wars. Ah, I don't... I don't I don't get why people don't like the prequels, but hey ho. Uh, if uh, someone wants to comment it down below, it. then go ahead. As you were saying? Uh, the skins are nice. Yeah. Uh, I like seeing all of the weapons and it's good. Oh, the DC-15 uh, mm, pistols. The short trap, the helmet scanner, power blast, everything's good about it. Yeah. Just... I like it, but that's why it's my top three. I think you can agree with this here, but they're kind of a little bit like a glass cannon, similar to Luke. Uh, so yeah, I do agree with that. Uh, Alright. Number two. I have the first number. It's first order. I have... Where's that? Little boy. There she is. The Arvizian Gunner. It's my number two. She's just fun. Her abilities are really good. Her charge is probably a weaker ability. But you can still one hit enemy troopers. Very different to hard solos charge. And a bit similar to... Uh, it's, I can see the similarities between that and Dengar's charge. Uh, uh, yeah, I suppose so. Yeah. The defensive stance. OP a little bit. Anti armor mode is really, really good. Especially in taking objectives. Mm. Uh, so, why do you have the first order jet trooper number two? Well, you can have a. This beautiful beast. You, know, you can have a. Mm. You can just bomb people for the sky. Mm. Uh, yeah. Of course, you're a sitting target yourself, but make the most of it. Get enough kills. Yeah. Bing, bada, boom. <laughs> Uh, it does take quite a bit of damage off people uh, yeah. for the blast. Mm. Which I do like. Why? Like. But, uh, you know, it's. Yeah. It's a really good. You know, it's fun yeah. to play. Don't want to sound too much of a uh, bad person here, but. Like, we usually uh, camp on the uh, two ledges of on Final Fantasy Takadara and get some right battle points with them. And then we can just hover, take them out of the objective in co-op. They're just really good reinforcement, but I put them number six. Well, I think we all know who number one is. Seth Trooper. Your winner, by unanimous decision, agreed by both of us, is this sexy red beast himself. The Sith Trooper. And I think I can kind of explain why. Oppression Grenade stops yeah. health regen for heroes and troopers for about 8 to 9 seconds, so that's really good. Combat Rush, you kill someone, you run faster, but you also get health regen instantly. Kind of like the uh, Vanguard without the shotgun. And... The uh, the right bumper ability, let me show you how. On the assault, uh, the toughen up. It's like the toughen up of the Vanguard, point to one, but without the uh, shotgun. Yeah. Uh, seeker tactics can really help you with the oppression grenade and the alternate fire, which is similar to layers, but done, has a uh, shorter lock on range. But. I think we can all agree the Sith Trooper is our number one for today. Don't you agree, Scott? Oh, we can't hear. 
cap it off. Uh, I want to show you some stuff that me and Scott have been doing in Minecraft. So, this is Scott's house, uh, BB-8. BB-9, he's around the back, we've got to take a picture of him. Uh, that, some of the stuff I made, Darth Revan in the back, right, you can see the Naboo area. Lightsabers, Stormtrooper base, and my house. A Darth Maul and two of the three lightsabers I've created. And then saw in the background, you can see C-3PO, who is next to R2-D2, but we didn't get that. Here, we have Hero Showdown, obviously, being the good man I am, take some pictures of Kylo and Rey. It's not an age I'm close, but it's close to it. Uh, Scott's Kylo, a random as Ray. I put a little 1v1 tournament on here, Showdown. Uh, I think you won, Scott. Yeah. Uh, here's me and Scott on circular base. Uh, co op. Looking menacing there. Me on a uh, age I'm close uh, co op, which I think is a really good map. And that black dot there is actually Scott as a hero, Captain Phasma, just arriving to the battlefront. Finally we have uh, Kylo Ren, who is Scott, looking menacing as he's about to slaughter the resistance and bring it home from the First Order on Takodana. Uh, but yeah, that's it for, uh, guys for today. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, thank you for 10 subscribers, hope to continue this momentum forwards. Uh, please like and subscribe for any future Battlefront content and Star Wars stuff in general. Scott, is there anything you want to say to these lovely people at home today? Peace out, folks. Yep. In Scott's words, that's all, folks. And may the Force be with you all. And have a happy new year.